Force Majeure. 19 Nocturne Boulevard. Nocturne Boulevard? Not far. When you hit Howard, hang a right. The Howard meets Philip at a weird kind of angle. Then you cross James and Paul. You can't miss Nocturne. It's just past the automatic. 19 Nocturne Boulevard. Your address for suspenseful stories of the speculative, strange, and supernatural. Tonight's story is Force Majeure. Yes, this is 19 Nocturne Boulevard. Won't you step inside? Did you have any trouble finding it? What do you mean, what kind of a place is it? Why, it's a bar parking lot. Can't you tell? Come on. Sorry about that. Huh. I really needed to know if you're as good as you're hyped up to be. I I need some help here. There's no place else I can turn. Bite me. Uh, I'm about to be murdered. No one will take me seriously. My agent, my wife, certainly not the police. Big surprise. Uh, I'm desperate here. Can't you just listen? Oh! I've got money. If it isn't enough, I'll write you a bigger one. Whatever you want. Anything. Get in. What if this guy that's got you weeing yourself gets you while I'm out looking for him? He's... he's not gonna kill me till Saturday. He sent an itinerary? It was all in the note. Bet you believe him. Where are we going? We're just going. Why? Why is he after you? Why does anyone do something wacko? He probably just wants to be famous. And killing you would make him famous? Well, yeah. Why? You don't know who I am? I'm Fred Quarry. I told you that back in the bar. I was a little busy fighting off your transvestite. The Fred Quarry, you know, with the sitcom. In the late night talk show. I don't watch much. I was on the cover of TV Guide twice last year. Don't you shop at supermarkets? Oh, that Fred Quarry. That's what I've been saying. I'm famous. Even you must have heard someone say, No, really? No, really. You buy it? He's hiding something. Most people are. Not me. But you're a robot. Oh, come on. It wasn't funny when we were kids, and it's not funny now. <sighs> Fine. What now? You find anything on Quarry? He's actually pretty clean for a Hollywood big shot. Meteoric rise to fame, starring roles, gonna be roasted on Comedy Central. If this guy doesn't roast him first... Nothing? Nothing. Your guy's in the wind. Invisible. Of course! What? He... well... oh crap! Oh crap! What's up? He said not until Saturday! He won't do anything here. You don't know that! Shit! 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 I won't let anything happen. We have an agreement. Oh! Are you supposed to be someone famous too? Or just a Goomba hitman? What could my pal here be telling you? He's just a little sensitive, you know? A little over-imaginative. All good entertainers are, aren't you? Go away! You're just undignified on the floor like that. Want a hand? What are your plans? Plans? Yeah, just a breakfast here with Fred. Now, what's good here? For Fred? Him? They got a locale menu? I mean the... <sighs> Look, sweetheart, drop this. Whatever Fred here has told you, it ain't like that at all. This ain't a game you can win. You said Saturday! You shouldn't be here! What is it, then? <laughs> Ask your boy about his contract. Oh. 
And then he just left? Yep, but he dropped this. Motel 6. Hmm, class. Oh, please, how transparent. Either he's an idiot or he's setting up a meet. Too early to tell. But he didn't deny anything. Hmm. Did I get everything on the description? Five six, narrow face, dark hair, slightly receding, crooked teeth, wiry, but looks tough. Sounds about right. Looks uh, something like this? Yeah. Not the guy, but that same kind of look. Great. So we're hunting Steve Buscemi in a pale green leisure suit. Hiya. <sighs> My sister says... Yeah. Well, I ain't an idiot. Come on in. Uh, yeah. You want a drink? The minibar ain't world class, but uh, it's on me. I wouldn't drink anything on you. <clears throat> Brass tacks, then. You want to know why you should drop Whiny Boy's case? Try this. Beelzebud. Recruitment. FMC. Beelzy, what? Just call me Bud. I hate being mistaken for that other guy. It's not like I'm Joe Estevez. Frank Stallone? Nice card. Flash paper? <sighs> All right. How plain do I have to make this? Tell your sister. Or is she listening right now? <gasps> what the heck? Get on the internet and look up demons. There's a particularly good website at www.legion.hel, but I'm not sure you can access it. It ain't exactly uh, user-friendly, and God knows it ain't Vista-compatible. You're a demon. <sighs> what do you want? Uh, horns? I mean, that's such a drag, always having to fix my hair again once I get done showing off. Yeah, that's a lot of grease to reapply. I like you. You don't scare. You guess my uh, interest in Freddy Boy yet? How about you phone a friend, eh, sis? A contract. A contract? Bingo. I held up my end, and now he wants to Welsh. So who's really in the wrong? Besides, there's nothing you can do. I get his life. One way or another, Quarry's gonna die. He might slip in the shower, choke on a herringbone, or have a turtle drop out of the freaking sky on his head. But he will die. And I don't even gotta be there. No, really? <laughs> Open up. Open up, you little... <laughs> I believe this is yours. You said you don't give refunds. I'm making an exception. You're lucky I don't feel like breaking my I don't beat the crap out of my employer's rule, too. <laughs> Look at me. What is a funny married to a supermodel? Top of the world and it's all ashes. You made your own bed. So I don't want to die. Is that so wrong? Everyone dies. But me. I'm going to die after tomorrow. You won't even help. Does the word demon ring a bell? Would you have believed me? I don't think so. No. Really? Too bad. He is Fred Quarry. I still don't care. He's a weaselly little schmuck. It's a shame you didn't keep the check. Once he's dead, that signature will be worth big bucks. Oh, please. I have the soul of a collector. And the taste of a crazy cat lady. I have never tasted a crazy cat lady in my life. What? Bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, eh? Yep. Thanks for calling. Wait, wait, wait. Should I call back after you've had some coffee? Lithium? Speak. This uh, ain't exactly something I want to discuss over the phone. What's this all about? What if I said you might be able to collect on that job of yours? Fine. Where? So? 
Your sister on the line? Yeah. Where? Where what? She's at our office. Yeah, she always is, isn't she? She don't get out much. I mean, where's the mic? Does it matter? I don't like being bugged. I can always leave. No. No. Well, if she's going to be part of this deeply personal conversation, uh, introduce us, would you? Matilda, Bud, Yo. Puppy. Thrilled. And you? I'm thrilled, too. Your name. You know mine. I've already forgotten it. Bud. Rena, you're lucky I'm not charging by the minute. Fine. I got a trade for you. I leave your boy sucking air and you do something for me. He's not my boy. Well, uh, see if you can get back on the payroll and take him for as much as you can. Uh, I wouldn't even consider any of this, but uh, you don't strike me like someone who's going to laugh me out. Wow. Finally, your lack of a sense of humor actually comes in handy. She, uh... I ain't had a date in a really long time. Not interested. I might be. I love Fargo. Listen. No offense to you, sweet cheeks, but dating a human having a freaking hamster for a pet. Cute and cuddly, but the relationship has the lifespan of about a week. Besides, that wheel just gets on your freaking nerves. That funny. How's that working out for you? I'm an acquired taste. So, uh... I spotted another de demon, a real looker, last night at the club. Dark hair, sleek body. Do I look like a yenta? Find out who she is and get me a date. A date? Yeah, a date. I don't mean you gotta guarantee va va voom or nothing, just to uh, get her to go out with me. If I can't take it from there, well, uh, that's my problem. And Quarry goes free? Well, uh, instead of death, I can settle for, uh... Total ruination. People come back from worse every day. Huh. Look at Rob Lowe. Marion Barry? I'll call Fred. Goblin and the Trolls. Delightful. Bad 60s rehash or cheese metal? Give me a second. It was rhetorical. Cheese. What? The band. They sound like war without the bodily fluids. Woo, this better work. How do I turn it on? Dunno. Bud just said that crystal would lead you to... Uh, oh! What? Feedback! Call when you turn it off! Oh, goody. Suddenly I'm the talking one. Hi. It's not your color. No, I... Weren't you asking to borrow my lipstick? No, I... Then I'm not into chicks. No, I... <sighs> what then? <sighs> this is going to sound but like, like something out of junior high school. Dissection? I have a sort of friend who wants me to tell you that he thinks you're attractive and he wants me to... He wants to ask you out. And he's what? Shy? No, he's the one of your kind. He saw you here last night. That iguana in the leisure suit? <laughs> I don't think so. Just in case, here's my... Try to set me up, babe. I happen to be... If you're some kind of half-assed demon hunter, you can bite me. And I don't mean in the nice way. Gotta go, sweetheart. My boys are on. I hate bitches. Especially demon bitches. I uh, take it the uh, date's no. off. <gasps> what the crap? How'd you get into my... Demon. Right. That. What's up? Hang up your phone. It's on the floor. Yes, she wouldn't go for it. Figures. Classy dame like that. Eh, it was worth a try. I owe you something. No thanks. Nonsense, I always pay up. How about a new car or something? <sighs> Answer some questions. If I can, some things man uh, ain't uh, meant to know. This demon bitch says something about being honest. So? Uh, the way she said it, it, it seemed like it meant something more. Yeah, you can know that. Okay. I think your basic problem here is that you're thinking demons are the enemies of God, right? 
<sighs> Go on. See, what you're forgetting is that in a big business, the janitors work for the same boss as the executives. Get me? Interesting. No. God made folks able to choose right from wrong. He wants them to choose right, for sure. But if wrong ain't enticing, it ain't a fair test. Makes sense. So you get a bunch of mooks like me running around tempting people. If they're good, clean folks who would rather do the right thing, then they uh, just don't take a shop on it. Otherwise... Sort of like if chocolate tasted like celery, we'd all be a size 8. Matilda says... Skip the replay. I can hear her. Yeah. So, honest. Right. Uh, we have rules. We don't lie to make a deal. We uh, omit everything under the sun, but can't tell an actual untruth. We can only uh, offer stuff in return for, uh, stuff. We can't threaten folks, you know, say something like, uh, if you don't sign, we'll kill your dog, you know? <laughs> and it's murder if you pull out the red-hot pokers. So why hasn't he, uh, sorry, why haven't you tried to tempt us? Yeah, not my type. Uh, no offense. My department is uh, fat male comedians. Uh, you may have seen some of my work. Really? Like, uh, John Belushi? John Candy? Fatty Arbuckle? Far be it from me to name names, but uh, let's just say, how else would Tommy Boy and Black Sheep both get made? Wow. So, uh, what do you do? Actually, uh, not much. I mean, the way I rule is I don't make talentless gobs into stars. Uh, much easier to scout the ones who actually have what it takes, but no luck. Uh, catch them at a low point and scoop them and their agon dies up like sand on the beach. Do a little work, pretty much like any other agent, and reap the reward. You're a shit. Pretty much like any other agent. Your percentage is a little high. Hey, look, babe, it's my job. It may be a crap job, but I'm good at it. Always in the black. And you don't want to run over on these kind of projects. The accounting department? Huh. I tell you, you want to see some bureaucracy, you go to hell. But you could decide not to kill Quarry? Well, it seems like a wash now, but yeah, I got a little discretion. Won't be a gold star on my record, but uh, I stay ahead enough. Basically, it'd be a small loss, like uh, losing money for a tax write-off. I'm here. No, really? He's still an idiot. You don't feel sorry for him at all? Right. Next, I can feel sorry for the chain smoker who's going through cancer and the gangbanger who gets caught in a drive-by. Let's just help everyone. Got it. What? Can we talk? <sighs> Incoming. I brought someone to talk to you. Maybe it'll help. I thought she was a supermodel. Huh? You're thinking of Devana, his wife. I'm his mother. Is that... <laughs> no, really? Oh, who's that? My sister. She's a big fan. Oh. You stay here, Ma, and talk to this nice lady. I'll go and sign an autograph or something. Hmm. So you're a friend of Fred's? No. Oh, uh, Fred's such a nice boy. He he paid off my mortgage. Good for you. And he even bought me a new hip. You should really help with whatever it is. Oh, my God. Is that Mama Farnaby? Oh, crap. Bring her over here. You know her? She's my mom. She plays his mother on the show. I tried. Come on over. I gotta get your autograph, too. On my way back. Yes, I got them. Uh-huh, the frosted kind, not the glazed. <sighs> oh, and I should have mentioned the black-eyed bitch in the back seat. Why are you here? To make a deal. How'd you find me? You left me your card. Funny how that connects up to catching me in the car at a donut run. I'm here to make a deal. A one-time offer. Deal? I will go to karaoke or miniature golf or whatever appeals to your friend. But you have to do something for me. I'm listening. I've run a bit over budget for my current project. You do understand what I'm talking about. I've got the basics. Hell, bureaucracy, budgets. Good. My current client is the singer for that 
band. I'm sorry. And I need someone to kill him. Isn't that cheating? Don't ask, don't tell. They only had a dozen... Oh. There won't be enough to go around. What'd you bring? I'm off grains, anyway. I take it you weren't on the cans the whole time I was gone? What? You said you got the frosted ones and then hung up. Shit. Get your ears on, I'll step outside. We could, you know, leave? I do have a rolfing session at five. Oh, all right. Come back sometime, you hear? Bye. Thanks again for hanging out. Bye, dear. Give me one, will ya? She means you. Right. No, really? <laughs> Yay. It was that demon chick. You don't have to yell. She said if I killed her client, she would get Bud to let Quarry off. You shouldn't... Yeah, that singer with the band. I, I just don't think I can do that, even for ten times the money. I'm just... I'm not a killer. But you are a conniving bitch. I guess I could think about it, but your pal's time is nearly up. <sighs> How will you get him there? I suppose it can't hurt to go and see the band tonight. See what the Vic's like. <laughs> yeah, I suppose it can't. Did he give you a new check? Goblin's not dead yet. <sighs> you really need to stop doing that. It's part of my charm. Ask your little friend. You said that as long as Goblin's dead by midnight, you'll... Must I say it again? Go out with that fellow. Bud. Bud. Right. Thanks. See you later. Don't jerk me around. You wouldn't like to see me get... <laughs> yeah, bet you get ugly. Was that wise? Promising a dead goblin? Uh, no. Pissing her off. Not that she ain't seriously hot when she lets the red out, but, uh... It's fine. And you'll be in the black. Though I'll bet he'd rather be in the red. At least if she's steamy enough. <laughs> you got a dirty mind, babe. Darn. And all I got was looks. What the? Hold on. I don't hear nothing. Okay, he's coming. What? Had to make sure there weren't any more. What? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Over here. What? Oh, oh, that's beautiful. I gotta get out of here. No. What? Do you have a story? Story? Play the crazy card. Crazy? Look, ask him. No, I'll ask him. Am I out? I mean, are we square? Well, we'll know in just a sec, won't we? Fred, focus. Crazy talk. Why? You're gonna get caught. No, I mean, why? She's right. About a surprising lot of things, Freddy, babe. You can't walk away free and clear, but, uh... He's dead. Before you could even get in there. Too bad about that. No! Ah, uh, crap. I never said I was going to kill him. You... I specified as long as he's dead by midnight, and you agreed. Oh, you want a playback on that? For your records, maybe? Blast yeah. you! You can blast me, babe. But, uh, you know you gotta come through. For her. Fine. But you may just rue this day later. Freddy there, Will. I'm just tickled. There is a later. Oh, yeah, you're clear. Shall we? I know this cute little place where they make the best lobster calzone. Mwah. Hey, make sure your check doesn't bounce. Those chicks will fuck you up. Yep. Cash it quick! Now, for the crazy talk. Fred Quarry has been remanded for psychiatric evaluation after he broke down on the stand and claimed that the devil had demanded he kill or be killed. <laughs> they should be nicer to that poor boy. Why? The rest of the news is all politicians and disasters. So? He's a rarity. A celebrity criminal? Someone telling the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Huh. Now that you know how to find us, don't be a stranger. We have enough of those already. 
Tonight's episode, Force Majeure, was written by Julie Hoverson. In it, Rena was Julie Hoverson. Matilda was Kate Waterus. Fred Quarry was Carl Cubbage. Beelzebud was Anthony D.P. Mann of Horror Etc. Podcast at www.horroretc.com. Infernique was Julia Lorraine. Ma was Angela Kirby. And the news was Glenn Hallstrom. The music was by Kevin McLeod of Incompetech.com. Cover art by Brett Coolstock. Sound effects were found on SoundSnap.com and Sonomic.com. Sound and mastering was done by Julie Hoverson. The opening theme was by Kevin McLeod at Incompetech.com. The opening credits featured Cole Hornaday, Renaud LaBeouf, and Julie Hoverson. All persons, places, and events in this story were fictitious or used in a fictitious manner and are not meant to reflect any persons, places, or things, living, dead, or undead. Questions? Comments? We would love to hear from you. Contact us at 19nocturne at live.com. That's 19nocturne. Or check out our website at www.19nocturneboulevard.com. Or join us in the 19 Nocturne Boulevard Forum over at audiodramatalk.com. We also have a WordPress site, 19nocturne.wordpress.com, that's spelled out 19. And we have a MySpace page, which is www.myspace.com slash 19 Nocturne Boulevard. That's one nine. This presentation is copyright 2009 to Julie Hoverson and Reality Productions.